Welcome back, everybody. Well, yesterday, uh, one of our viewers, Dark Wolf, gifted me RimWorld on Steam, and I confess I have not been able to stop playing ever since. I don't usually have a lot of free time to play on my own when I'm not making videos for the channel, but I did have a little time yesterday uh, and today. Uh, my son hasn't been feeling well, so we didn't go to his soccer games. And so here I am. So I thought I'd go ahead and record my experience. I've got about six hours into the game, so I'm not completely a noob. But I know that I'm far from being an expert. And as often is the case with new games that I don't have a lot of experience with, I'm going to rely on the collective wisdom of our amazing 30,000 strong a subscriber community to help me through this. So we're going to dive into RimWorld. I'm not using any mods or anything like that. Please use the comment section below to let me know your tips. Let me know what you see me do right, what you see me do wrong, and help guide me through these episodes. I've never played late game. I've only gotten maybe a few hours into it. My last village ended with a major fire that destroyed pretty much everything. I'm hoping to avoid the same mistake. So here we go. We're going to go at adventure uh, level, which is kind of a, a good starting spot, I think. I am going to do reload any time, though I do not expect to go back and kind of replay too much. But this should be interesting, to say the least. All right, so I, I have a little bit of experience uh, into what kind of world I, I want to look for, but um, let's take a look here at the factions for a second. It seems like the purple and the yellow seem to be the neutral. Uh, so it seems like maybe right up in this area is a really good spot. Uh, there's a yellow faction right there. I feel like maybe somewhere in here might be the way to go. Maybe up here near this road. Uh, animals can graze, forage ability is pretty good. Um, granite, sandstone, and slate. Elevation's pretty high. It gets kind of cold, kind of warm. I'm kind of curious to see if there's maybe somewhere that's a little more mild as far as the, the weather goes. Yeah, it gets a little hot there. I'm going to look around a little bit. This spot here seems a little better. Uh, 27 to 82. Uh, but actually, even up here might be even better because we're right near some water. There's a road there. 25 to 81. So it doesn't get real extremely cold. Um, movement difficulty 1.5, small hills, rainfall. I don't know if that's a lot or not. I should probably adjust that to inches so I can recognize it a little better. But I think we're going to go with this temperate forest. It seems like a good spot to go. Now comes the, the difficult part. We need to choose our people. And I definitely want somebody that's got... Boy, that mining and construction is really good, but everything else is kind of low. Um... Let's kind of look and see where we're at overall. I definitely need somebody who can shoot. Uh, I'm incapable of violence. That's not real helpful. Um, oh, man. This aromatherapist. She's really good at cooking and animals and medical. That's pretty solid. No incapables. She's ugly, but, uh, you know, we'll get over that. Um, the paramedic. Oh, see, we're already strong in cooking animals and medical. So we definitely need somebody who can shoot. I might have to randomize somebody here. This jet, this military officer is pretty good. Incapable of caring and animals. But, you know, that's not a huge deal. Um, we're going to need mining and melee for sure. Maybe somebody who's a little intellectual. There's mining. No melee, though. Incapable of violence. That's a problem. Ah, oh, boy. Melee is good there. Mining, decent but not great. We would be hurting for mining, but pretty good everywhere else. And honestly, we could probably learn with the mining. Although this person here is really good. He's a paramedic. I wonder if that might be better. Incapable of intellectual and crafting. That's a bit of a problem. But we'd be pretty good on everything. We'd have two people that can't shoot at all, though. That's a bit of a problem. All right, so I, I did some randomizing, and we've got a blacksmith now. No uh, problems with any, anything that they're incapable of. Really good crafting, decent mining, uh, but learns really well, so they could level that mining up. Same with medical for us. So um, really our weak spot would be intellectual as far as being able to um, level up skills, I mean, um, research. So that might be a bit of a problem, but I feel like overall this is pretty good, and I think this is what we're going to go with. 
All right, so this is going to seem a little cheesy to some of you guys, but honestly, just to make things a little bit easier for me, uh, I'm going to name my first three people uh, with their skills a little bit. So Dr. Cook is our really good uh, person with cooking animals and medical. Uh, Hunter Builder is our shooter, uh, who's also good with construction. And I love the fact that um, these folks are going to be good at learning these areas that we're going to need them to focus on. And we're just going to call this this guy Crafty, even though Hunter's kind of a guy's name, that's a girl. But um, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to learn because I know that I, I'm still pretty much a noob at this game. Uh, but every little bit's going to help. All right, here we go. So uh, let me pause. We've got a big area of mining here. And, and I feel like maybe building up with this kind of to protect us. If people attack from this side, is that a bear? A mega sloth. I've never seen one of those before. So I'm going to start building kind of in this little nook here. It's going to be easy to defend, I think. Um, so first things first, I, I've watched a few videos of other people playing the game. Uh, so I got a pretty good idea of how I want to start things. And obviously, first things first, I want to I want to deal with all of this um, to make sure that folks are prioritized right. And, and people probably have different ways of doing this. Uh, but this is the way that I found has been working pretty well for me. Uh, no medical skills on either of the other two at all. Put number one on basic for everybody. Uh, is anybody... Nobody's got a good warden skill, so that's a bit of a problem. We're going to have nobody who can handle that particularly well. Um, handling animals, this is actually a really good thing for our doctor to be able to do. Yeah, we'll go four there. Um, definitely good for cooking. I think we're going to probably have to make cooking kind of a, a number one priority there. We'll make it a three here. Hunting, obviously we know who our hunter's going to be. Um, it's going to have to be hunter. So hunter's going to have that as the number one priority. Along with construction. Uh, boy, hunting, not so good there. Constructing is going to be a three there. We're going to make growing another priority here. And then we'll put threes for those. Mining. Who was our miner? We only had one person who was really good at mining. So you're going to have to have mining as one of your priorities. Oh, that's really high there, too. Smithing. I don't know that we have anybody who's great. Oh, no. oh yeah, there we go right there. Taylor's kind of on the back burner for now. But again, that's a big priority for them. Art we're not even going to worry about right now. Crafting, I think, again, was a big plus uh, for the blacksmith. So that's going to come in really handy for them. Hauling, we'll just make three for everybody. F cleaning, same thing. Research, I think we'll make a two here. I think that'll work for now. All right, so first things first, we've got to get shelter, a basic shelter, and some beds built. While that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and also look for the rest of our supplies and see where they are so we can make sure that everything's getting allowed. And then once that's built, the next thing I need to do is build a shelter to store my stuff that could spoil um, so that we get all that, that put away. And then we'll worry about a kitchen. We'll worry about electricity uh, and all of that sort of fun stuff. Looks like we... Um, We've got a donkey. I haven't really used a donkey yet, so I don't know entirely what they're good for. But let's go ahead and queue up the ability to to um, maybe chop some of these trees. Oh, you know what? The next thing we need to do then is we also need to uh, zone some growing areas. And it looks like we got some nice flat area out here. I don't know. Is this kind of a rich soil right here? It is rich soil. Perfect. So that might be a good spot to do some growing. Well, is it not going to let me grow anything there? I guess not. Alright, so let's cancel that. Alright, so I'm going to designate four areas for growing. We're going to do some potato plants. 
some corn, uh, some cotton for sure. And honestly, I don't know what I want to do with the fourth one yet. Uh, I haven't explored some of these and exactly what they do. Maybe some heel roots, although we can find those in the wild. So maybe, maybe not that yet. Maybe some more cotton just so I have enough to, to be able to make clothing for when we get to the winter time. All right, we're almost done with our initial building. Just designate some more trees for chopping. Just so we make sure we have plenty of wood. All right, so that building's done. So now we have our beds and uh, everybody has somewhere to sleep. Uh, also, just kind of looking at the needs, obviously uh, they're soaking wet, so that's a problem. Maybe we want to build a fire somewhere. Um, the next thing I want to do as well is just while we're at it in here, let's see, uh, recreation. Let's just put in a chess table, give them something to do. And then eventually a table where they can eat too. In fact, maybe I'll move this. I think one's probably enough anyway. So let's get a table. Put it over here in the corner for now, I guess. And then just get some stools around that so they have somewhere to eat. All right, perfect. So that'll do for now. They're going to get the growing going. Looks like a couple of them are doing that. Next, we want to build uh, a place for storage that's indoors. So specifically, I want to be able to store foods and plant matter, stuff that could go bad, you know? Um, Maybe apparel, too. I don't know. But at the very least, that's uh, the stuff I want to get in there. Stuff is, that could otherwise go bad. You can see here that our package survival meals are deteriorating because they're unroofed and outdoors. So that'll solve that problem. Next, I want to uh, make an area to prepare food. Man, this weather's pretty brutal right now. I might have picked a really rainy area. Next thing I'm doing is I'm equipping. I got Hunter equipped with the uh, uh, the protection, the flak stuff. We're gonna um, we're gonna let Crafty have the gun because Crafty's got some gun skill there. Um, Doctor doesn't have a lot, but a little bit of melee ability. Uh, so Doctor's unfortunately gonna be stuck with the knife for now. So we'll gather that stuff up. And like I said, the next thing. Uh, the next important thing is to build an area where I can cook, but I'm also going to need electricity. Um, I don't want to try and clear big space for wind power electricity right now, so I'm honestly just going to go with uh, the easiest thing to do, which is uh, a wood fire generator. So we'll do that for now, and then we'll worry about building something a little better than that down the road. Uh, where's the best place to put this? I guess we'll go right here for now. And then we'll run a conduit. No, we don't need waterproof. We need a regular one. Run a conduit up through. Well, we won't do that for now. We'll wait until we need it. Uh, next structure. Uh, I'm still finding my way around here. All right, kitchen time. And then we'll put a freezer off of the kitchen once that time comes. I think this should be plenty big enough for a kitchen. Uh, I'm just doing wooden walls for everything for now. Until later when I can do more. Actually, I don't want that door there. So here, we, uh, we're we going to go with a butcher table. And then an electric stove. Which will go right there. That will all be powered. Oh, I forgot to put a table in. Or a... A floor in that room. Darn it. Might be hard to do that. No, I guess we can still do it. And then we can go ahead and start looking for animals that we can send Hunter to go after. Like this nice little rabbit, which we hope is not like the rabbit of Monty Python. And is a man killer or something. There's another one right there. Let's go hunt a couple rabbits. Eventually we'll need a freezer and we'll build that off right next door. So the stuff won't go bad. Alright, Hunter, you can do it. Good thing we have, like, unlimited supply of bullets. I 
Hunter's got a ranged weapon. Yeah, I don't know why that says that. All right, so we're adding on to the side now, and this is where we're going to put our cooler to be able to make a freezer. I'll go ahead and put that there. Get that built up, and that'll give us a place to store the the meat when we build it. And if we keep it cool enough, which will require a lot, a lot of electricity, uh, that'll actually allow us to keep stuff indefinitely. I also move my medicines indoors. I forgot to do that because um, that stuff will deteriorate if we don't get it done in time. Um, beyond that, I think the next thing we need to worry about is research, uh, and then we'll definitely need to start producing more meals before we run out of all of this food. We'll see where we're at at that point. All right, we got our freezer going. I have no idea why there's wood being stored in there, but eventually we'll use it. We put our dead rabbits in there. Uh, we need to start now um, giving orders to do this, uh, do forever with the butchering of creatures. Uh, and then as far as food goes, we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll keep a stockpile of... 10 simple meals at any given time. Eventually we'll be able to do fine meals as well. Hopefully somebody will go ahead and get started working on that. There we go. Perfect. All right, wait a second. Why are we storing the hair meat? So we got we got to fix that so that the meat's being stored in the right place. All right, we're going to train our donkey to be able to rescue and haul. So eventually that'll happen. Chelsea is the name of our donkey. It just kind of roams around and does whatever Chelsea wants right now. So obviously we're going to have to deal with attacks at some point before too long. We're going to have to find a place to store our leather. I guess we need a place outside to store kind of everything else that doesn't have another place. There we go. All right, so our food's starting to grow. Got a long way to go. 25% for the uh, potatoes, 18% on the cotton. Oh, hello, sir. Let's see who... Uh, or if it, the trading, you know, typically they don't have a lot of good stuff to trade, at least not early on. Um, not really anything great that we need. Oh, that reminds me that something else we're going to need is a place uh, that we can use as a jail. If we do capture somebody, that we can eventually turn to our side. Um, package survival meals we don't need. He doesn't really have much at all. He's got a little bit of medicine, which we also don't need. And a camel hide jacket, which right now is not really something I need, but eventually could be. So for now, yeah, we don't need anything from you. Sorry. All right, we're going to put our research bench and our tailor's bench in here. So we'll be able to start doing our first research, which will probably be battery, so that we can start the process of being able to store up uh, some electricity when we're not producing it, though for the most part we should be we should be producing electricity regularly with this wood fire generator. Uh, so maybe that's not our priority right now. I think we're low on steel, so we're gonna have to find another source of steel. Uh, sometimes if you look around, you can find some kind of around on the map. There's some meals, and there's some more steel there. So we'll go gather that up, and then we're gonna have to also look. Sometimes you can mine some, too. Steel has a particular look. And that's uranium ore. Interesting. That's the first time I've seen that on a map. What's this here? Jade. So we've got some nice stuff. We've also got a little guinea pig here, uh, which I guess we could hunt, but I think we'll leave him be for the time being. All right. I knew I should have dealt with that guinea pig when I had the chance. He has gone mad, uh, which means he's going to start fighting us, so... I'm going to go melee the thing as quickly as I can. Oh, wait. I didn't actually decide to like try and give the knife up, did I? Um, all right. Yeah, that was pretty easy kill there. At least it wasn't something worse than a guinea pig. All right, in the meantime, we are finding a bunch of meals laying around. We found some uh, steel that we could deal with. Um, here's more steel here. So there's a lot of it lying around different places. We're going to deconstruct this steel urn here. Um, and then sarcophagi 
remind me of something else that we need to do, which is to build a graveyard somewhere. So uh, our people tend to get upset when they see uh, dead bodies kind of uh, laying out and about and decaying. So we need to have a place for when we do kill people uh, to bury them. So I think this is probably a good spot here for now. So let's look at the needs of our people now. Uh, so Doctor, who is our therapist, um, has a mediocre barrack. Eventually we're going to have to give them their own quarters. Uh, sweaty, so um, there is some things we are some things we can do about that to cool the place down. Unsightly environment, not a huge deal at the moment. Um, let's see if that's largely the same. Disturbed sleep, ate without a table. Oh, well we've got a table. Why didn't you eat at it? I don't quite understand that. Um, there's no reason for them to have eaten without a table. Sweaty, unsightly environment. Insulted. Who insulted you? Oh, that expires in 14 hours at least. Minor pain, pessimistic, slept in the cold. Ah, none of that makes sense. I feel like it's pretty warm. What's the temperature? Uh, in the Indoors it's 82. So let's try to cool that down a little bit. Um, let's go ahead. Hopefully we have a look enough electricity for all of this we'll go ahead and, and get a cooler set up for indoors here well thankfully it isn't requiring a ton of uh, power it, it is using 200 watts when it's running uh, but that should regulate our temperature indoors to a nice 72 uh, we've got a thousand watts of output power, so that's good. Uh, that's more than enough to be able to get the job done because uh, we're not using nearly that much right now. All right, let's take a look at research. Now, pemmican's really good because that is, uh, it's not a very tasty food, uh, but it does uh, go a long way. It's very efficient and it lasts forever. However, I don't think that's necessarily what I want to go with right now. Um, I think I'm going to go with smithing because uh, eventually for protection, and I've never gotten this far in the game yet, but I know eventually we're going to need uh, things like gun turrets to protect us. Uh, so that's something we can go with down the road. Um, hydroponics. What's that going to allow us to uh, cro grow crops indoors regardless of the terrain or weather outside? I don't think that matters for us because we've got good outdoor areas. Batteries. Um, yeah, probably not necessary right now. All right, so let's go with smithing. All right, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Hunter thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? And then, of course, we have to name the settlement. So, ah, uh, boy, this is, this is always so tough for me, uh, naming a faction and naming a settlement. So i got to think about this for a minute and decide what I want to go with. All right, so we're going to call our faction the Lost Historians. I just think it sounds kind of cool. Uh, and Jamestown, in honor of my ancestors who were at the Jamestown Colony. Uh, so there we go. We do have research going on. Hunter's doing our research at the moment. We did start mining a little bit just to clear a little more of a path there. Um, I'm trying to decide exactly what I want to be doing next. I'm keeping an eye on my plants. Uh, potatoes are at 39%, so eventually what will happen is with the food, we can package the food together with the meat. Looks like we need to do some more hunting um, and, and make some simple meals. But eventually I think I want to do more than that. So uh, I think we're going to kind of harvest some of these medical plants. And what we need to do is we need to look for... Oh, hello. So I want to try one of these mega sloths. I don't know... Oh, a 10% base chance to attack when harmed. Uh, so let's hope we can take that thing down before it does too much. Oh, we've got some berry bushes here too. Let's go ahead and harvest those. All right. I'm going to be curious to see how well we do hunting the sloth. So let's follow this as it happens. It doesn't appear to be attacking, so that's the good news. Oh, what do we got over here? We got some yaks. This thing's going to provide a lot of meat, but also, I think, a lot of 
of fur that can be used to make clothing. All right, I guess we can speed this along because it doesn't appear that my man's going to fight back. It's taking a lot of shots to bring him down, though. Holy cow, quit running. My goodness. Why won't you die? I know, because you're a giant sloth. Wow, I've shot this thing a lot. There we go. This is going to provide a ton of meat. And fur. I'm going to throw the body in there for now, at least until we... Their doctor's going to cut it up. Look at that. We got 75, what, 120 heavy fur. I gotta figure out why we're putting the meat in here. We gotta fix that. But look at how much meat. Uh, 360 meat just from that one animal. All right, and once I wake back up, uh, I, I didn't put a light in, so they've been doing research in the dark, which is terribly inefficient. Um, also gonna queue up our tailor bench to start making parkas, pants, and some shirts uh, so that we're preparing for the winter that will eventually come, though we don't expect to get real cold temperatures. Uh, so we've got all the meat now moved successfully to the freezer. Uh, that'll definitely help moving forward, uh, making sure that we keep that frozen so it'll never spoil. I think we're in pretty good shape. So the next long-term things, of course, are to, to build areas uh, for living space uh, for those to be separate. And then we need to build somewhere uh, that we can have a medical facility. We could probably do the medical right in here. Uh, but then also... Uh, a place to, to make a jail uh, in the event that we capture somebody. So uh, those are kind of the next things that I'm going to deal with. And I'm going to build kind of a long building here that I'll, I'll divide into a couple of rooms so that we can make it a little easier to heat and cool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put vents uh, to connect all of these rooms so we can regulate the temperature between them and eventually we'll have to put in a heater but we don't need to worry about that yet because we're not at that place hopefully this uh, this particular cooler is able to handle keeping all of those areas cool so we do have a raid coming let's see where they're coming from they're coming from the bottom right corner of the map uh, which means that Somewhere over here is where we're going to have to do our defenses. Uh, though I think initially it's only just the one person, so I think we probably don't need much in the way of defenses. We just need to make sure the hunter's ready to go. But maybe we... Eh, no. I'm not going to worry about defenses too much right now. Alright, here he comes. I've got our two gun, uh, gun people, Hunter and Crafty, ready to go. And I'm hoping that they're able to hit this uh, person before they get in close because they've got a wooden club. Looks like we already nailed a shot. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. So no, no troubles there. Obviously, it's going to get much, much more difficult as we go about time. And the nice thing is here, too, that this person's pretty close to the graveyard. So we won't have to drag the body real far to bury them when that time comes. We're continuing to work on our new... Uh, spaces for living here uh, let's go ahead and get some beds queued up for those places as well and we got lights and we're gonna run some electric conduit down this way uh, so we'll be able to do that I think we're are we low on electricity we're just not outputting enough for everything I'm not sure what's happening here or we just need to reconnect if that's the issue We'll have to see. We may be at the place where we're outputting for more electricity than we actually have the ability to produce. All right. I don't know what the heck happened here, but Crafty and Hunter just got into a fight, and they're both hurt. So um, Crafty insulted Hunter's ant's animal taming ability. This drove Hunter into a rage, and she began to fight. So now, thankfully, our doctor is the one who's still okay. So she's immediately going to go... And, and grab the necessary medical supplies to start treating them. Uh, once we get these areas uh, built for them, we're going to turn one of these into a specific medical area. We also need a place, and it's not going to happen for a while because we got two people that are hurt. 
Um, but let's go ahead and build a jail cell, so to speak, right here uh, with a steel door. That'll go right there. Um, and that, that we're going to designate that specifically as a jail. So if we if we actually capture somebody, we'll be able to hold them in there until we decide what to do with them. So thankfully, boy, I don't know what I would have done if it would have been the doctor who got in that that argument instead of one of these two. But we're going to be out of action for a little while. Thankfully, we've got enough food. We've got enough of everything we need to get by until these two are better. All right, so thankfully, Crafty is fully healed. We do have an issue with uh, electricity. I'm not producing, I don't think, enough to be able to do everything. So we're going to go ahead and put together a second generator next to the first. I think, hopefully I've got enough steel for that. Looks like I do. Eventually I want to get more efficient ways than throwing a bunch of wood into a generator constantly. But all right, both of my folks are healed now, so that's good. So I think once we get all that done, that might be a good place for us to wrap up. I think we're about a half hour into actual video time. So what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and we're eventually going to have to decorate these rooms a little better than what we've got right now. Why do we have a steel slag chunk there? Oh, hello. How much meat do we still have? Oh, we still got quite a bit of meat. I don't think we need to hunt another one of these things quite yet. Um, but we're going to go ahead and assign. Set the owner here for each of these. Hunter will get that one. Crafty will get that one. We don't have the third one built yet. But we'll have to make these rooms a little nicer than what they are at the moment. There we go. And... Doctor gets that one. Uh, now what we're going to do is... Set one of these as medical for now. We'll leave the other two as they are. This one's going to be designated for prisoners. Oh, we haven't finished enclosing the space yet. Once we do that, then we can designate it for prisoner. There we go. Not sure why we don't have a lamp here. We do. It's just showing as a steel slag chunk. Not sure what that's about. So what I'm looking for now are sources of steel because I'm actually pretty darn low at this point. Uh, I know that I eventually might be able to mine some, uh, but we're getting awfully low. I found a few chunks of the ship that I can deconstruct. Uh, so those will, those will provide some sources here. These steel columns will provide a little bit that we can deconstruct, but sometimes you just find steel laying around, but I think I've found all of those sources already. Oh, we never did bury that guy. That's unfortunate. I thought somebody would have taken care of that. Maybe it's far enough outside the village that it's not a concern. Limestone table. I'm just exploring the space a little bit here. Ah, oh, there's some steel. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. That'll allow me to build the last things I'm working on. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up right there. I'm sure there are a lot of things that uh, you wiser players out there can tell me that I need to be thinking about and planning for or maybe changing in terms of my strategy. But let me know. Use the comment section below. We also have uh, a discussion channel over on the Discord server. Uh, for this game that you can access through the link in the description below. So let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button if you want to see more from a series like this. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.